Today's adventure on a taste of Bulgaria, I ticked off one of my bucket list. Finally, after two years, I've made it here. I learned about a new Bulgarian tradition, and during that trip, we stumbled upon an abandoned Bulgarian monastery. It's three o'clock in the morning, very early. We had to get up early today because we're going somewhere very far away. I've been wanting to go here for over two years now since starting this channel. As you can see, it's still dark outside. Also, Betty said we had to dress in white. It's a special day today, which I don't know what that's about, but I'm sure we're gonna find out. I think I need a coffee. the coffee at home. Definitely gonna need a couple of these this morning. Okay, all set. Back lunch for the road. Going quite light. Let's get down there. Got a long way to go. Let's go. Let's leave the past behind Walk with me The day was Midsummer's Day, known as Ienofden. In Bulgarian folklore, it's said that the herbs picked on this day before sunrise had great healing powers. There'll be more detailed description in a future video and I do all about other Bulgarian traditions. We had a little stop for five minutes and uh, in the beautiful nature all around. And again, no surprise, it's time to pick up some garbage. As you can see, Garbage all down here. All down here again. So we're gonna pick a little bit up. There's a winding road, no telling where it goes. Finally, after two years, we're here at the Cherry Festival in Kirsten Dill. I'm gonna give you a tour and tell you what all the festival is all about. Let's get going. The Cherry Festival is a three-day event featuring over a hundred varieties of cherries and all the things you can do with them. There'll be a link to the whole festival at the end of this video. <sighs> so we're looking all the time for trying to get into places to get something to eat, but everywhere is totally busy. So it's really packed here, we're gonna find something. Betty has found a nice little burger bar, takeaway street food kind of thing. How you, why you call it burger? Burger bar. Yeah. Burger bar. They sell burgers, not burgers. Bar, burgers. burgers. Just because they draw them doesn't mean they sell burgers. I think they're going to sell burgers if they draw them. It's a picture over there, don't you? Yeah. So we're going to go and check this out. Looks like a few people here as well, so we can't go. Buy Sunday. Strangeta. So this guy's from Strangeta. Yeah, let's see now. Mama, me also here is full. We can take and go and sit down in a park or something. Why are we this sad face? We can take and we can go and sit in a park or something. So even that place is looking like a 15 minute wait for even some chips. So <laughs> this can be a slight problem when you go to these big festivals when it's very, very busy and you want to eat something. Probably better to take a pack lunch. That might have been a better idea. But yeah, we're going to go to the car now and maybe we're going to drive somewhere a little bit outside from the centre it's not going to be as busy so we'll do that now so we found somewhere on the road to our uh, village guest house Gusto Pizza got good reviews says the staff are very good we're going to go and test it ourselves 
So Jani decided she wants to show you around this place. Are you going to show him around, Jani? I did then show him around. I show inside. You showed them inside? Yes, I'm outside. Thank you very much, Jenny. Everybody give Jenny a like, a thumbs up for showing us around. It's hot. So pizza was great. Tomato sauce was average, but the base was amazing. Yeah, Betty really liked uh, fresh pasta, and uh, Hapki for Jana, nice kind of like Kentucky Fried Chicken. Yeah, you should definitely check this place if you're in Cuspindale. So we stumbled upon an old abandoned monastery. No internet, so we don't even know what the place is called. And we'll find out what it was called. If you have a look here, have a look around. From 1881. Yeah, if you fall down, it'll be funny for the video. But you usually don't like me putting you on the video, so it's very dangerous. Be careful, be careful though, be careful. Living, and ah, this yeah. piece of salt that they're licking, you know? Ah. Ah, you know that? No, because no, you're English. No, I know. You don't have cows there, no? Cows? We have a but few cows. Smells, smells of uh, cows. You know that the people yeah. used to live up and down with the animals. With the animals. So this is yeah. how they warm up the house. With the animal fart. <laughs> 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 don't put this on the way out. Garity, I, I am with slippers. Why you don't let me go up and pull you up? Because I don't want to. Then Good. I don't know how I go down. Ah. Woohoo! Alright, let's go and check this place out inside. Uh, be careful when you walk there. So I'm going to be careful just because you tell me. Huh? Mm. Again, walk. Better to uh, Look here, is it check how safe it is. Walk. Uh -huh. okay. So it looks like there's four rooms and a toilet, maybe. Yeah, the toilet. The people didn't have toilet inside. Bon Was this not a toilet? But this is not a good the old houses here, the toilet outside. Bobby. That's true. Well, there's definitely was a toilet here for animals. There's Where? some here. There's some horse or donkey. Yeah, pack. the horse was living on the <laughs> second floor. No, I'm just saying it came up afterwards. The horse came afterwards on the. <laughs> That's really. Oh, well, then the people just put the horse there. So, how we go down now? Yeah, this will be interesting. Right? Ah, here are steps. No? <laughs> Look, steps. Probably a little bit safer, no? I did it for. I'm a tiny man, It's okay. We can just go to the side a little bit. Look here. And then we just go to the side here, miss. Ah, there is a nettle there also. Well, okay. You just have to dodge it. Heidi, uh, come on. Come on. Mommy, and there the belly is still looking good. Look. 
still in good condition. We there and we see what are those is tombs. I think yeah. Uh -huh. Right, let's go check. The chapel part, 1881. So it'd be really interesting when we find out the name of this place to see when actually this place got abandoned. Yeah, they are tombs. It's going to be written in old Bulgarian, so you're going to have to read this. Let's see. Who are these people? Yeah. It'd be written in old Bulgarian, so. Old Bulgarian. Well, it will be, won't it? With the, old oh, Bulgarian. Oh, oh. With, oh, on everything. And fish! What's the yagut? Ама вече са и озверели. Виждаш ли ягодки са, но ги няма. Вече са озверели. Я да видим сега как се казва тази женичка. Which year is this, yeah? Fix, fix, fix. I think if you make just a photo and then we zoom it somehow. Под... Подок... Сницир... Не бе така не си изведем. А, под офицера! Is she is from the army? Под офицер, со офицер, you know? Like a major, a major. In the army, I don't know. Yeah, major, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 802. No. It's interesting to know. But we're just next to the cemetery. We're strange that they're just two. Yeah. Yeah, but look at this one. This one looks even uh, earlier, doesn't it? Ruska, look for Chiva. Ruska, Slavova. So, 1958. She was born 1850 something. Look at this guy. And this one, she looks like me. Oh, they're old, old people. Варда! Варда Младенова в Вукашинова. Yeah, but I like the pictures to see the photos, you see? Who is this one? This one is probably some rich people. This looks like a big one. Look at this. Yeah, but this is new, it's not I know. Yeah, very new. 2017. What? 2021. This guy is nice. Careful, Jim. This is not even a photo. I think this is a painting. Jean, I just saw that one. Yeah, looks like a painting. So look up in the bell tower. I'm not going to do it. Michael! Give me your hand. Right, stand this. You got to do harder. hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to like and subscribe or even give a special thanks. Choose this video here to see why the Cherry Festival should also be on your bucket list.